So uh, we talked in, we started in this session talking about different kinds of anchoring, different kinds of things that needed to be uh, uh, tagged in, you know, in, in terms of repositioning the, those annotations. So if you have, if you want to have in the general conversation, if you want to have something around, if you are interested in the larger topic, not just images, not just maps, uh, feel free to talk about those things as well. So do we have anybody who has anything to add to this? Oh, besides Yvonne. Besides Yvonne. Um, <clears throat> I mean, the session is on data annotation, and before we go into the details that you say, what I would like to understand uh, from those who have done data annotation, whether there is any other issue than the robust anchoring. I mean, the, the anchoring issue is obviously very difficult and data format specific, etc. So that's, that's one area. But before we go there, are there any other issues? Or this, is this the only real problem if you want to put annotation on data? And everybody, please re do remember to say your, say your name for the record. This is Anna. So yeah, definitely um, one category of of not anchoring, but, but being able to specify which part of the data that you're interested in is having query selectors. Uh, because if you're annotating a static data set where you can say, well, it's you know row three of the C CSV file and it's this column, fine. But if you actually need to run a query on a database to get the data that you're annotating, that's a very important use case. I'll just come over here. <laughs> I don't want to. So, so, uh, which is a very good point, but to be honest, for me, the data anchoring and the querying is very intimately related in general. I mean, you know, if I, if I am able to anchor something, that means I can search for an annotation which is related to that anchor. And, and we haven't explicitly referred to that in the previous discussion, but for me, these two things are very different to separate. Um, anything else on any kind of anchoring data, images, media, anything? If not, oh, uh, just a second, please. Say your name first. Kareem Khan, Latin and Fun, contributor to OpenStack, contributor also the contributor to open, open Social. For I'm trying to get it further away from your mouth. Yeah. Uh, is that good? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. Could you say your name again? Sorry. Yeah, well, yeah. Uh, Kareem Khan, contributor to OpenStack, the Open Social Framework, other things, Xcisco guy and Big Data guy. One of the problems with that you guys have to get to or you need to get to with annotations is kind of where we had to get to with semantic data for search. Uh, if you look at the actual standard that's used, good relations, um, schema.org, is we need a structure that data should be formatted in that people actually use internally and externally. That's kind of the problem. It's great to have good standards and good tools, and you've done some good stuff around that, but we actually need people to use it, and it's got to be a compelling value for them to share that across so that the annotations have meaning outside of their own sites, public, private, whatever. Thanks. Any other... One thing that's come up, this Tim again, one thing that's come up um, in some of the discussions has been the fact that people rarely are looking at kind of the raw data. So if you think of what is gathered by a sensor, it, it may be no votes, which then are translated into a temperature. What the users are often looking at is Fahrenheit, for example, but what he's trying to annotate, what persists, What's behind that is data that's different, and you have to make sure the annotation makes sense for that that underlying data format. This is a little bit like the discussion we had earlier about across formats and so on, but I think it's going to be more of a problem with regard to data because it's so rarely shown in kind of its rawest form. I think that's really some. I, I remember there was a conversation. Um, on some thread, perhaps on the open annotation group, and they were talking about you may wish to 
call into question somebody's interpretation of data, interpretation of results. Maybe, maybe they might, maybe the annotation they want to leave is you're interpreting this as Fahrenheit or Celsius or whatever, but actually this is a known issue, this is a known bug with the sensor that it, so that, at that level, what, at what level should we, be able, should we be able to get at the raw data? That's a really great point. 